Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. If somebody's trying to accomplish this, they're having a little bit of trouble with the extrude tool. So we're gonna get the spiral tool and we're gonna draw a spiral. Now, when you're doing something like this, that last little bit can hurt you. So I'm gonna take that note away. Just make it a little bit different so you can change the whole thing. Now we're gonna make this thing like a thicker line, maybe not quite that thick. Now get your extrude tool, which is underneath your drop fly out, and let's just extrude it just a little bit. And then up here, you get your uh, rotation. Well, right here, and we can rotate this guy. Then we can take our extrude handle and move it up so we just have a little bit of an extrusion. We don't want too much. Let me look at this, zoom in, get the extrude tool back. We almost kind of want the lines kind of touching. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now select it all and go up to object, break the extrude apart. And you can automatically just make it black. So you've kind of got that um, look already. A couple of things I would do, and this is what he's having problems with. I'm going to move the extrude out of the way. You can't use like the um, interactive field tool on it. It just doesn't do anything. That's the problem he's having. So we're going to take this, select it all. Now you notice that the weld tool doesn't come up, but we can go to object shaping and weld it. Now, well, no, I take it back. We have to do one more step. We have to go to object and convert it to an outline. And I'm going to left click, right click. Well, really, probably don't have to do that. That would look cool within itself. We've got a ghost there. Um, that gives you a little bit different look. It's actually that uh, interactive fill tool working on that. So let's get the interactive fill tool back and let's uh, play around with the colors. Actually, make a it blacker on this side and a little less black on the inside. So that's what he's having trouble with. So you have to weld it, even though there's no weld there. Pretty cool effect. You don't have to, you know, use the interactive fill tool. You could just make it all black, uh, which looks pretty cool in itself. It, it does give it a shadow. Uh, and you can still play around with things, you know, if you don't like the way it looks. Um, you know, it looks like the extrude tool is kind of small. Uh, so we could have, let's back up here, you know, and you can always go to here and go to edit properties and there we got the extrude tool back. So we can go back to the extrude tool and move this up just a little bit, go to our rotation. Let's maybe don't rotate it quite as much, maybe even get a little bit of an angle. Uh, if you ever have a problem with this, you can do some numbers up here and make that work better. Now we can go back and make it not quite as thick of a line. You actually kind of need them touching for this to kind of really work. Then select it all, go up to object, break the extrude apart. And if you go here and then you right click black, you get it and you might be happy with that. And I've come into this situation before where our extrude is actually past the red. Well, what, what we need to do in that case is because we can change it. And if you look down here, we've grabbed the, the red, we have the black, so we want the red. I'm gonna go to object, uh, convert the outline to an object, take the shape tool, and then you can change these nodes and make them look a little different. You know, if you think, if you think it needs to be. You know, like that's a little bit confusing there. Um, it really looks pretty good. I maybe wouldn't even touch that. I'd leave that alone. And you just got a too sharp a turn right there. But that's a pretty cool effect. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.